everyone. Uh, this is the four of us from Tadaima. Um, definitely going to be a little bit of a different episode, if you've noticed by the title of it uh, on YouTube or on your podcast feed or whatever. Um, but we figured this is kind of a topic that can't really be ignored um, just mm-hmm. all over the world, kind of. It's, it's everywhere, whether you're on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. Uh, what's a really obscure one? Vote. If you're on vote, even you're probably seeing it. Just coronavirus. If you happen, if you exactly. happen to be on a continent on Earth. Mm-hmm. Except Antarctica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it, yeah, it's, Justin it's, Timberlake doesn't know yet. <laughs> he's the only one in the world who's in the dark. Um, but yeah, I think it's it kind of behooves us to spend a little bit of time talking about the coronavirus that's been impacting everyone in the world i would say the covid 19 um the three of us three of us are in seattle which is kind of a huge hotbed right now for the virus and Mm -hmm. as you know jack you know is in austin and Mm -hmm. uh uh, i mean jack do you want to speak for for your state i mean it's pretty much everywhere you know it's pretty much everywhere and you know with lack of testing we there's no way to know how many people have it but like chances are it's in your neighborhood you know even in rural areas um they had some people in rural parts of texas west texas that came down with it so they brought them into austin for the hospital availability there Hmm. then we had last night with the travel ban kind of coming up people were freaking out and there are huge crowds in the um airports but we did have someone from the uk land in the austin airport with symptoms oh. in a whole with a whole plane full of people that got off the plane and got into the city now so it's inevitable it's unavoidable now Cont- we're not we're past the conversation of containment now it's like okay what do we what do we do now you know and it's like it's not a good time to be looking at the news i'm trying to keep you know calm i'm trying to keep even keeled here but at the same time it's just unavoidable so i am hunkered down in my master bedroom of my townhouse I've got everything here I need. <laughs> I've got my internet, of course. I've got my computer desk here. I moved it in here. Uh, I've got enough food and supplies and waters to hunker down. They keep saying it could be a matter of weeks or months. And you, yeah. time. <clears throat> you guys can't see it, but but Jack is actually holed up in a pillow fort in his bedroom right now. <laughs> it is basically a pillow <laughs> yes. fort. And yeah. you all are jealous, and that's okay. It's okay. We can't even see his fort. face. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. I feel okay, but I have been getting over the flu last month. So I am concerned, you know, with getting it, I don't want to have anything, um, you know, that will just with my immune system the way it is right now. So I'm just like, literally like hand sanitizer, washing hands, everything they tell you to do. I'm trying my best to follow, but I just realized like, man, I must touch my face a lot because I'll catch myself like, Oh shit. You know? Yeah. And then kind of not, to have a mini freak out and then just, you know, go about my day. But yeah, I'm trying to follow the rules best I can. Luckily I get to work from home. Mm-hmm. So there's some people in some industries that's not necessarily an option for them. So I can only imagine, you know, the stress and anxiety that brings out. Um, but luckily I am able to do everything at work on a laptop, wherever I am in the world. And uh, yeah. So just taking advantage of, you know, tools like discord and zoom meeting and things like that to just keep in touch and you guys are the first people I've talked to really today. Some of the only people I've talked to online. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess before we get too self-indulgent over here at Tadima Studios, I, I think it's it's fair to say just public service announcement, you know, wash your hands a lot. 20 seconds, soap and lather. Yeah. Don't touch your face. Don't cough on pe- Just generally don't cough on people, but especially now, don't cough on people if you're coughing. Yeah. I mean, to, you know. Personal hygiene is mm-hmm. always something to champion, but especially so in these trying times. And just do your part to help beat the virus, you know? Listen, just yeah. sing, like, the chorus to slow down from BGITC. Exactly. Yeah. And it'll get you through well, your you hand wash washing. your hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, yes. even better. I'm going to start doing that now. But, I mean, <laughs> what a crazy, I keep saying this, like, what a crazy time to actually be alive during a worldwide pandemic. You know, it's. I mean, I've seen the movies. I've seen all those movies. And it's like, wow, that would suck. And then here we are. <laughs> like, it oh does my suck. gosh, is it, it real? It, it sucks. Yeah, it actually it sucks. sucks. <laughs> and I feel for you guys too, being all three of you are in Seattle, pretty much downtown Seattle. Yeah. You know, so it's um, it's really rough. I'm there. exactly downtown. You are totally <laughs> the most downtown Seattle you can be. Yeah. Um, 
And I would also like to send a shout out to all of our customer service workers out there, everyone that's working in the bars and restaurants. I know a lot of states already. I think I don't know if it's federally mandated now, but I know a lot of states have already said that they're closing all bars and restaurants. So a lot of people I know are out of a job or in danger of getting laid off. Um, I myself am kind of in flux with my own position at the brewery. I know we've brought up the brewery in the past and how I talk about it all the time, but it's, it's a very real possibility that I might, I might not even be employed there anymore. Um, but don't worry. Um, we will, like they're coming out with resources. Um, we're getting new use every day, so I'm not too worried about it yet. It's just very uncertain right now. Um, but my heart does go out to all of you guys. Um, and I hope things work out for you. Yeah. And, you know, I definitely want to keep talking about it because it's impossible not to talk about coronavirus. And, you know, more importantly, in the context of our show, you know, perhaps its effect on Tokyo, on on Japan, you know, that whole region and everything going that they have going on there this year, too. But also, I want to, like, kind of keep it light, too, a little bit. I don't want to be a downer. I mean, I kind of want to let everybody know that's a fan of the show. Like, hey, we're OK. We're doing all right. Um, you know, we'll, and we will make it. It's going to be tough. But, like, you know, definitely don't panic. And do what you can to like have fun and laugh and and uh, just you know just try and try and do our best to be that distraction even though we're not really distracting you away from it this this week uh, but it's okay to enjoy Terrace House and enjoy being part of this community. So I'd say now is a great time to do some binging of Terrace House if you so choose, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, or it's a more painful time than ever waiting for the new season to drop. A- April seven, yeah, April seven. Soon. Yeah, I mean, do you think they'll be nice and just drop it? Because I mean, like Trolls World Tour comes out this weekend, <laughs> like for everywhere. I mean, <laughs> if we can have trolls, then why can't we yeah. have Terrace House? They didn't delay give us Terrace House early. It. No, the, it's alongside, the, or it's not this weekend, but alongside the theatrical re- release of Trolls World Tour, they're also just going to release it on streaming services. Oh, okay, for like twenty bucks. And that was cool of Disney to bump up Frozen Two by like mm. three months. It was a substantial and, amount of time or something like that. And Star Wars. Yeah, Don't Star Wars watch came out it because it's not great. Wait, the new Star Wars up right now? Yeah. Hey, Rise of Skywalker. Either, is it now or is it very soon? But yeah. No, it's, um, it's out now. You can get it on digital no platforms right now. Yeah. Yep. So you can watch a disappointing Star Wars movie at on the Disney comfort Plus. of your own home. Oh. I don't know if it's on or Disney Plus. I just Terrace know you can House. purchase it. Um, or you yeah, can watch yeah. Terrace House. I'd rather watch Terrace House. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I think Adam Walker, he plays a better character in Terrace House, I think. Adam Driver, not Walker. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, I was like, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wrong mode of Crickets. transportation. It's like a demoted Adam Driver is Adam Walker. Yeah. The coronavirus like, turned him into Adam Walker. He got like a Walker. DUI. He can't yeah. Adam Driver anymore. He has. He was Adam, Adam Walker. Walker until he was sixteen, and then he got his license. I'm just glad I'm not the only one that didn't get that at all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I was like, wait, I couldn't even remember his name in the moment. Yeah. Good God. Uh, God. Yeah, I don't but, know that actor. <laughs> I I think though the the biggest takeaway too is as from this is like the best we can provide right now is continue to do the show like we have been and continue to entertain you guys especially now that all of us are kind of locked inside and and kind of just waiting this thing out so mm-hmm. uh, of course next week we'll we'll go back to regularly scheduled programming we'll be our happy crazy selves um and be talking about whatever is going on in terrace house world that we choose to talk about at that point. yeah so. i think that that's the most important message like do not worry i we know a lot of things are getting canceled a lot of things are getting delayed and shuffled our show is not changing at all we we haven't even changed the way we produce the show how we how we record it it's all staying constant so we fully are going to be doing shows and reacting and everything we've always done we're going to remain as consistent as we as we as we, as we have always been there you As go. we have and, always been. And I'll be consistent in being poor at speaking into a microphone. <laughs> Same. It's a great skill to have on a podcast. Yes. But mm-hmm. yeah, nothing's going to change as long as nothing in Terrace House changes. And as of right now, we know we have a good amount of episodes ahead of us to watch. Um, but we don't know because they're still filming. So we just don't know what's going to happen with that. We We don't have any information to really go off of the only real mention so far that we've been able to find um in the like terrace house network is ruka posted a picture of himself with a face mask on and he's like defeat the virus gambate 
<laughs> God, I love how that's it's such a a childlike innocence of you know it's not let's survive but like let's beat this like let's beat its ass. It's a shonen <laughs> villain. This virus. Yeah. And let's it's, destroy it's the, it. It's a boss. It's a boss fight. Yeah, like yeah. that's the kind of vibe I get, and it's like you know that it's very there's a lot of levity there, and I like that. Yeah. Luckily, it seems like Japan is doing a decent job at containing it so far. Like their numbers have stayed pretty steady and constant. It's not like blown out of proportion there. So, you know, fingers crossed. I am going to be curious to see what happens when we catch up to these episodes being recorded right now. You know, I mean, there are some there's calls from the audience and from the fan base as well, too. that They should cancel it or they should end it quickly and just wrap up and wrap up shooting. But we don't know yet. You know, but yeah. I guess yeah, fact of the matter is we, where we're at now, haven't even seen part three yet. We have a lot left to watch still. So hopefully, you know, I think just, I mean, I love Terrace House, but I just hope that they do, that they do say, stay safe, you know, and don't just do the show just to keep doing the show. Like if you guys really need to stop, like, hey, no hard feelings. No one will be shitty about it. Right. Here. Like, what are they going to do? I mean, are they going to lock the members in the house if they decide to keep doing it? Like, <laughs> yes, know. that's a different show. That's, that's a different a... show. Yeah, Quarantine that's house. You, it's like, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because um, I saw a, a video about, you know, that that Western show, Big Brother. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of it gets mm. compared to Terrace House a lot, but they are literally like quarantined from the outside world. They have no idea about COVID-19 or anything happening right now. But what they do know is that they usually have at a results show every week or something like that. They go and there's like a studio audience there and they know there's no audience there. And yeah. there's video of them oh. talking and saying when they go back to the house, they're like, that was weird. There wasn't any audience and they don't know why. They have no idea. But they think it was just like for dramatic effect. And it's like fascinating. Like, no, dude, we are in a worldwide pandemic. It's like mm-hmm. the Truman Show or something. <laughs> yeah, like totally. That. How freaky is that going to be for them when they find out, man? I'd be terrified. Oh, yeah. There's I've always literally- found that- Hmm. Wait, oh, there's literally a mini series on Netflix about like people participating in a British Big Brother uh-huh. and a zombie apocalypse breaking out and oh, like shit. eventually breaking into the studio. Oh shit. I don't know. I've always found that to be like a weird, fascinating part of American reality TV that that idea of like we take away your phone, you're disconnected from the outer world, like you're basically incubated in this controlled space for 10 weeks 12 weeks however long it is mm-hmm. it's just such a a weird thing but then at the same time if and if and or when we see this on terrace house it's not going to be like those six people in the house don't know about COVID 19 right, right. right they're gonna they're gonna know they're gonna see it on twitter on two chain <laughs> on whatever and it's gonna two be like chan. oh shit have you been like how are you today are you okay did you see anyone coughing today you know what i mean you know i did mm. i also recognize Terrace House is kind of almost in its own vacuum at the mercy of the editors. Meaning, like, they rarely ever acknowledge, like, big events, worldwide events or anything like that. I I struggle, at least. I mean, they'll acknowledge, like, local festivals, you know, like Golden Week or Valentine's Day, you know, holidays and things like that, I guess. But, I, I mean, it's so big. It's so much bigger than entertainment or Terrace House or anything. It's like it's almost impossible for them to try and edit around it. But I'll bet in the beginning, before anyone realized the scope of what we're dealing with here, they might have had that first instinct, like, oh, we can just edit around this. We don't have to feature this. But now it might right. not, it might be past that point. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it hits a point where, like, it's just so hard to ignore. It becomes such a big part of your life that, I mean, it's, it's just, that's that's all you can think about. I mean, it's just, that's all I've been doing for the past yeah. two days is just keeping up with what the hell is going on with this thing. And so it's just hard. Yeah. Considering at least the situation with the Olympics, I feel like there is going to be have to be some acknowledgement of it, especially if, you know, we're getting closer and closer to summer. What's going to happen with the Olympics? You know, Japan, of course, doesn't want to cancel them. That would be a huge, huge loss of money and wasted resources. But simultaneously, it's like we got to do what we need to at this point. And we have someone who has a stake in the Olympics, literally. So, yeah, um, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a conversation. But again, we don't know. We we are just right here at the point where, you know, as of this recording, the Olympics haven't been canceled. But, you know, that could change at any time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, any, anything's on the table. You know, before we recorded today, I did some research on this exact topic because I feel like 
Tokyo 2019, 2020, the whole thing has been building up to the Olympics. That's probably why it's named what it is. Oh, you know? and, and even us, I, I mean, little known trivia here, like uh, we look to the Olympics and the Paralympics with some of like our art and stuff and our thumbnails and all that. Like it's an inspiration. It's a part of Terrace House, you know? So of course I want to talk about, you know, how that might be affected by this craziness. So they're saying that based on the contract that they have with the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, as long as the games happen in the calendar year of 2020, that they won't get like, then it won't be out of Japan's hands, whether or not it gets canceled. However, if they can't make it happen in 2020, then they won't really have a choice anymore or a say in the matter is how they, you can interpret the, the contract they have, mm. um, what they stand. And as of late February, okay, we're in middle March now, but as of a couple weeks ago, um, the IOC was still saying, and you know, beating the drum that they're fully committed to holding the Olympics on schedule. Um, and that might change hourly, daily, you know, by the minute. But there's a one, or I'm sorry, there's a $12 billion US, $12 billion budget for the Olympics. Um, the stadium that they built is 120 billion yen. And they committed 30 billion to the uh, yen to the, the Paralympics as well, too. So this would be on top of everything else that is getting crushed under this pandemic, that would just be a massive blow to the economy of Japan. So I would, I mean, I can understand why they're hesitant to even talk about that right now and why they would be nervous. You know, it's, it's a lot of money and it's, it would be very meaningful, you know, if it didn't go down or didn't happen. Um, as of March 15th, as of, you know, the yesterday, we're recording this on March 16th right now, but as of the 15th, they're still preparing uh, they had the torch lighting ceremony in Olympia. However, it was held without any spectators. So that's very somber to see a, a, such a public, traditionally public, uh, you know, worldwide event. No one even knew about it and no one was even there to see it happen. Um, Trump said that, you know, they're, they should consider moving it past a year. And then he had a um, meeting with, uh, is it, sorry, I can't think right now. Is it Abe? Yeah, Shin Shinzo Abe. Abe. Thank you. Yeah, he had a meeting with him after that, and I think that's when Abe was like saying to him, "Hey, Ixnay on the next year because that's not an option," <laughs> you know. Um, but also, based on some of the research I saw and some of the articles coming out from various news sources, about half or so of the Japanese public think that they should postpone or cancel the games entirely. And this is just crazy because I mean I've been so looking forward to Tokyo. I've been so you know these games specifically. Because I love Japan, I love Japanese culture. I was, I've been even planning a trip out there as well too, and so obviously, you know, that is very much in limbo as well as to whether or not I'm going to make that trip. But um, if you look back in history, 1940 was the last time an Olympics was rescheduled or delayed. That was from Tokyo again. So it's like, how cruel is history in this case? You know, in 1940 Damn. was rescheduled, yeah, to Helsinki, Finland, and then eventually got canceled due to the outbreak of World War II in that case. Mm. A very um, different but, kind of pandemic. Exactly, yeah. But yes. you know, right now, athletes are being told and are being assured that the games are going to proceed. But like I said, it's you can't guarantee that by any stretch of imagination. I think anything is on the table now. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's tough times, man, all around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so at least as a glean of hope, though, there have been numbers showing that Japan, China and Korea as well, I believe, are over the hump officially. Um, they at least they, they, they've topped out numbers wise and now they're going downward. Uh, so people are actually recovering from this thing. And we have people exiting hospitals and the numbers in at least China are, are definitely going down. Uh, and. The old, but the, the caveat with that is, um, as recent as today, there was someone that had recovered from the virus, but then uh, proceeded to test positive for it. Uh, was so that don't in know, don't, South Korea? Um, I, yeah, it was in Korea, South Korea, okay. where that happened. Mm. Yeah, Freaky. And something worth noting, too, again, with, with China, is that it's kind of hard to say for sure what their numbers are, right? Because right. part it's of it China. is that it was misreported, you know, originally, <laughs> which is partially why it's cascaded to this point i mean not to put all the blame on one nation this is kind of everyone's fault that has gotten to this point right mm -hmm. but all we can do now is just be honest and just kind of quarantine if you are sick and even if you aren't sick 
consider quarantining. Consider working from home if you can, if that's a possibility for you, right? Um, there's a there's some advice that I saw on Reddit, shameless plug. I don't remember which subreddit, but it was a BBC interview with someone who basically said, just treat yourself like you already have the coronavirus and you're trying not to spread mm. it. Not right. that you're trying not to catch it. Right. Right. And yeah. not to sound too angry, but there's way too many people in the States right now that are not even paying any attention to it and just living life like normal and going out to clubs and stuff. And it's just like, oh, it's just especially, especially yeah. to see all the people rushing back from the airports, like all those huge queues and rooms full of people. I'm just like, yikes. You know, actually, on the heels of that, uh, this this episode goes live March 17. Uh, I'm not Irish, uh, but happy St. Patty's Day. Also, oh, yeah. don't go out tonight. If, <laughs> don't. Excuse me. You can make I, your green beer at home, you assholes. Yeah, I have a, I have a bit of a dry cough. <laughs> I'm definitely not going out, but just right. don't. Just for once, just chill, you know? Yeah, being Please. in Seattle and having a dry cough is not a fun time for anyone. So thank you, Robert, for even being on the show right now today. Mm. Seriously, man. Yeah, yeah it's it's... Talking's hard when you have it, but you know, it's the, it's, it's important to at least have a discussion about it. Cause I think in a way we should normalize the idea that like coronavirus is a thing. So that way people are comfortable with it so that yeah. they know, okay, let's, we can deal with it in a way that makes sense. Like there are solutions to this problem. I think it's just that maybe some people are afraid to take those leaps. I don't know what else to say other than yeah. just take care of yourselves. I mean, yeah. listen, when you go, if you have to leave the house, Stay, you know, keep distance from people. It's in the air, you know, like be careful what you touch. Do not touch your face under any circumstance. I don't mean to sound like a mother hen here, but like even when you go in like to an ATM or when you go and pump gas or anything like that, be conscious of what you touch and make sure you have hand sanitizer or something like that or just wash your hands and sing slow down while you're washing your hands. I love that suggestion. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, Mm -hmm. But I I promise you, though, please. Yes, out out loud. loud. Yeah, yes. every, and it would get stuck in people's heads, and then more people watch Terror South, and then more people listen to us. How great would that be? Hey. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the biggest thing with this thing, it, this whole coronavirus thing, is that uh, by the time this probably even posts tomorrow, by the time you're even listening to this, I'm sure all, things have changed because this thing is evolving so quickly. Uh, just the different news coming out about it, the different things that are shut down or open, or et cetera, et cetera. Um, so just the best thing we can do right now is just, it's just hunker down. I mean, it's just what it comes down to. It's as simple as that. Just hunker down and do your best to just stay where you are. Um, I mean, and social dis- distancing, remember that like it's social distancing, which means that you don't necessarily have to stay in your apartment at all times. You can go outside. You just don't want to be insanely close to other people social. <laughs> or group together. Exactly. Yeah. You, so yeah, if you want to go outside, you know, go for a run, go for a walk, go for a hike. Whatever you want to do, you can do that. You don't need to be a complete prisoner <laughs> to you I mean, yeah. wherever it is you live. Or if you want to just stay inside, that's okay too. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm gonna watch but I, I Terrace do, House, maybe. I'd, for a third or fourth time, I uh, have a really nice balcony outside of where I work from, like literally five feet away. And I'm gonna move a hammock out there, so I'm gonna spend some time in the hammock outside. Oh yeah, hammock. Yeah, hammock. I don't know with yeah. The, yeah. Me and uh, Kenny and Risa Kyle are going to sit on the hammock. Gross. Yeah. Just don't sit in it the wrong way so that it kind of like falls down like the way Kenny did. you like, don't straddle it like a horse. Yeah. Yeah. You, no. You know, I, I would like to just like, I, I mean, now that I've been here for so long, I would like to just almost just go and drive and like listen to music. Mm. Just drive around and then come back home. Or listen to a podcast like this one i thought you're gonna say yeah. we're listening i'm to just Terrace trying House. to find ways to, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah no sure that's what i will say is if you could you if could you want to go on House. if you want want to go on a little road trip with you and some friends as long as, as long as you're not in california don't go outside california okay you can't do that not allowed but that's what i heard anyway apparently the borders are closed um but feel free to go on a road trip I mean, it's it's one of the few things you can still do out there, and don't mm. obviously don't bring your huge group of people, but you can still road trip and listen to all your tunes. Yeah, okay, I would say don't 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 go so far that you can't well, get back home the same day. Though, <laughs> you know, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just, I need to ask: social distancing. How are you going to do social distancing in a car? I mean, if it's someone you you live with or already in pro- close proximity, you're probably already compromised anyway. So, what difference does oh, it make? Oh gosh, yeah. this is terrible advice. 
Yeah. yeah. Here, here's what I'll <laughs> say. If you want to go on a road trip with your friends, friends meaning us, the Tadaima crew, where you can binge, yes. watch, binge listen to oh, all of our podcasts. Yeah, yeah, listen to us in the car. People. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> no. But legit, uh, l- like legit though, you know, the last thing I got to say is that the whole world is affected by this. We are all in this together. You know, we have audience members from all over the world. We are thinking about you guys. We are going to stay strong. Tadaima is going to keep going. We're going to be here every Tuesday. Um, and yeah, we'll, we will get through it. It will be tough. It might get more difficult here in the future before it gets better, but it will get better. So just stay optimistic mm-hmm. with us and let's enjoy each other's company and let's enjoy Terrace House together as a group. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've read some of your um, your comments in Discord about how crazy this world's been getting in the past, literally just the past two days, because that's how, how yeah. little time it takes yeah. right, for things to escalate and get crazy. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, I think what Jack said is absolutely it. Like, this is the time for unity. Not physical unity, perhaps, but <laughs> mental unity, you know, the, the, the unity that humanity has that we can that we can come together, but not physically. This is really hard to say, man. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> so good so this, right, guys? I'm really not. I'm, Join I'm like, our discord and you'll feel the togetherness that Robert's speaking of that, too. I wasn't going to show our discord, but thanks for doing that daily. <laughs> this sort of thing shill is killing tonight. me. I'm going to shill it. Yeah, it's fine. for sure. Solidarity is a word I'm thinking of, right? Because I think inherently humanity is good and i'd like to think that this coronavirus thing is just a test for us to see how right i am and i hope i am right because it's at this point where i think we should all be taking it just a little bit seriously like don't panic don't get crazy don't hoard toilet paper please that's not going to help you unless you have a really shitty problem just oh shit (laughs) thank you um just you know jump in the shower jump in the shower <laughs> just waffle stomp it through the drain no. <laughs> oh my just oh my <laughs> no what i mean is we're all in this together just like jack said so let's be kind to each other let's understand that this is something that humanity can get through so let's just be helpful and we should all buy bidets if you live in America. I mean, I think that that is the actual answer there. We should That's all true. adopt water <laughs> off the butt. Let's get on it, America. We're late to the game. Japan's so ahead of us on the toilet game. You kidding? Yeah, me? We, just, we just we all need pooper shooters. That's what we need. The re- mm-hmm. See why we don't let them talk. <laughs> <laughs> but days, though. But days, Now that's though. on the podcast. Let it, it forever be on the podcast. All, pooper shooters, TM. TM, 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 anyway, TM. Yeah. <laughs> daily help me, please. Anyway, if you totally ignore the past, what was that? A minute of filth. <laughs> um, there, there is, there is a quality down to the core that we we care about you guys. We want to make sure you're safe. We wanted to let you guys know that we're safe and that you know we're just as clueless as you as to like what might happen with terrace house but we're gonna keep our finger on the pulse of all things terrace house and probably be one of the first people to let you know when we know anything yeah Mm. big ups to uh the three of you for holding it down in uh ground zero almost in sunny seattle yeah yeah, so I think, actually, so Seattle has been pretty sunny lately. I was going to say, if it's not, I mean, this is terrible news. It's not good news, but New York has surpassed Seattle. So I don't know why I brought that, that up. Never mind. That's, that's fine. Yeah, let's just let's make it. Let's oh, be sad. <laughs> and hey, Italy's doing really terribly. Let's talk about I'm that. Sorry, next. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Love you guys. Get, be safe. Yes. Uh, okay, I think, I think let's let's wrap this because I am not coherent enough to keep going, probably. All right. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we have our thoughts and prayers are going out to you. And if you have anything you want to share with us, any stories that have been affecting you, you know, you can reach out to questions at terracehousepodcast.com. You know, we'd love to read them and just be able to know that you're all okay. Uh, we will be back next Tuesday with a more normal episode of Tadaima. Although at this point, I don't know what normal means anymore because I feel like we're just always off the chain. Um, but that we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming next week for sure yeah this has been tadaima thanks for listening and stay safe out there if you enjoy our show please like comment and subscribe and ding that bell to receive notifications when we publish new content 
Follow us on social media and check out our brand new Discord server, linked in the description below. See you there.